think about my uh, first years in the NFL, my first years playing ball, I have a legend in front of me shaking guys loose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Guys can't tackle him, can't stop him. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, wow, I'm getting to play with you, but if you're playing, I'm not. And so as I'm sitting back behind him for a full year, you already start to hear the words. Well, who's the next guy that we're going to get? Who's the next young person? And so I'm kind of stuck at a choice. Well, do I just kind of sit there or do I train and start preparing to be something special? And if I get one shot, no one's going to ever want to let that go and no one's going to ever let me go. I could have quit. I could have just said, well, you know, he's here and that's it. But there's something in me that said never. Never let this thing go, you know. You, you gotta show your stuff as soon as you get the opportunity. And so it made me wanna just go work to, to not only replace him, but be better than him. And that's a, that's a great task for, to replace a legend. The second season starts, it's Sunday night football. The lights come on and he goes down and I come into the game. And they looking at me saying, Sean, are you ready? I'm looking at the screen running for an 88-yard touchdown, and as I look up, I'm realizing this guy's close to me, but he's not gonna get me. <laughs> and, uh, and here I come in as a rookie with all the hard work and the hills and lifting and running and preparing and studying film and having the dreams of what I would do when I get out there. And I finished the game 266 rushing and three touchdowns. I think anybody that wants to be great has to set these goals and has to have this I will not be denied attitude. It, it's, it's so full of hunger and it's so full of passion that, that nothing's gonna stop you from reaching the goals. So even after I accomplished it, I just thought to myself, oh, I gotta do this again and even better.